there, and welcome back. Uh, I am Chef Jeremy, uh, executive sous chef here at Little River Casino Resort in Manistee, Michigan. Today, we're gonna show you how to braise chicken. Um, and basically all you need for that is, is these simple ingredients. We have some airline chicken breasts, and basically what this is, it's just a chicken breast with the skin on still, and it's got this little tiny leg still attached to it here. Um, bone in on this, and then the rest is gonna be um, bone out. We have fresh herbs, oregano, thyme, and basil. White wine, Chardonnay, you can use Pinot Grigio, any type of white wine. If you want a little bit sweeter, you can go with some Moscato. Fresh garlic, Dijon mustard, um, and then just some chicken stock. So let's go to the stove and I'll show you how to get this process started. All right, so here we are at the stove. Um, for this, you're gonna need a uh, braising pan with a lid. So we're gonna turn our heat on to medium-high heat, and we're just gonna let that heat up a little bit. Add some extra virgin olive oil to the pan, and you're not gonna need a whole lot of it. And what we're gonna do here to start is we're gonna try crisping up these skins on this chicken and giving them a little bit of color. Once you start smelling the oil, um, it's probably ready to put your chicken breasts in. So all we're gonna do here is put the skin down and you can hear the beautiful crackling sound. If there's too much crackling, you can turn your heat down a little bit. And be careful because this will splash up on you so you don't want to burn your hands. Keep moving them around a little bit so they don't stick to the bottom. Adjust your heat as necessary. And go ahead and check them. You can see they're starting to get a little bit brown already, but that's not quite where we want them. So I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit because our chicken's now tempered and a lot of the liquid is gonna be off the skin side, so it shouldn't pop nearly as much. So when you cook chicken, uh, you wanna make sure that it's cooked through to 165 degrees uh, if you have a thermometer. Um, if you don't have a thermometer, uh, you can cook it through uh, and then just break it open and if it's white and the liquids are running clear, then you know your chicken is done. You don't wanna get sick or get anybody else sick. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is add a few fresh garlic cloves to this. And you're really gonna start getting some aromatics coming off of this pan. See the beautiful brown on the skin there? That's what we're looking for. We're gonna let them go a little bit longer and then we'll flip them over. You can see the beautiful garlic color coming out too. Smells absolutely delicious. All right, so now I'm gonna flip my chicken breasts over. Look at that beautiful color on those. All right, from here I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit and I'm gonna add some chicken stock. And you're only gonna wanna go up about halfway on your chicken here. Probably about like that. And then I'm gonna add some white wine. And then I'm gonna add fresh oregano. I'm gonna put the whole sprig in there. I'm gonna do fresh thyme. And then fresh basil. And then finish with a little bit of salt and pepper. Turn your heat back up and cover. So you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this. Um, you don't want it to overcook. Your liquid will start to um, cook down. Uh, so you wanna keep liquid in this at all times. Um, and the chicken breasts aren't very thick, so it's not gonna take super long, but the process here is to try and get the chicken uh, as tender as possible. So it's gonna be a little bit of an eyeing game with the chicken, uh, but you'll know when it's done. So come on back and we'll finish this up. Thank you very much.